Hello and welcome back and today I want to talk about a brand new 2 bay QNAP. We've all been waiting on the new generation from all of the big NAS vendors for the end of 2019 and 2020 and I think it's safe to say that QNAP have made the first shot. Notwithstanding the 5 GBE NASs we've seen previously, we're now seeing more of this new series, the D series. And this is the TS251D, the follow up to the TS251B. And this device arrives with an impressive CPU and improvements on the majority of ports. First and foremost, it utilizes the same chassis as we saw in the 251B, but <clears throat> stitching out the silver design on the front in favor of a metallic blue. Also on the front, we've got that front-mounted USB copy button, and we've got LEDs as well as support of two three and a half inch bays of click and load trays for hard drives and SSDs of course and supporting up to 16 terabytes currently. Now the chassis being very much the same as its predecessor it is a plastic chassis all the way around front sides with a metallic panel on the back. If we look at the rear of this device we can see that it arrives with a PCIe slot but this new generation arrives with a PCIe times two times four so it's a single slot but that Gen 2 times 4 slot is going to make things a lot more interesting for a number of you out there. On top of that, its support of greater cards means with the newer generation of PCIe cards coming from QNAP that are dual 10 GBE or some of those 5 GBE cards we're starting to hear about now, we are going to be able to see lots more stuff done with this device. And that doesn't even consider SSD caching. <clears throat> on top of that, we've got an HDMI port there on the rear, but thanks to the CPU inside that we're going to talk about in a bit, it is that 4K 60 frames per second HDMI 2.0a, which I know is going to be good news to a number of you. Now, although we've seen a large amount of change recently in terms of gigabit connectivity, this device does not arrive with higher than 1 GBE port. It arrives with a single 1 GBE port there on the rear and a combination of USB 3 and USB 2. But just remember that you can connect the QNAP 5 GBE adapter to a number of their devices. And I cannot see why you're not going to be able to use the 5 GBE adapter on this device. Now, you may also notice a slight difference here between this and the 251B insofar as those audio sockets that have been removed. Both the speaker and the audio in outports are not on this device. We've seen this in the last two years of QNAP devices, and I personally quite liked the ports. I used them for different things, but I know a number of you didn't really see the point of them, and some of you also found that the um, audio notifications that came through that speaker, the voice that was alerting you if you had a RAID problem, alerting you if there was a new firmware update, a number of you didn't really utilize that feature. I know I did because I have a number of NAS devices in a single environment, and it became quite useful for me to be able to identify them via audio. But again, I know I'm in the minority. If we look inside this device, we've already talked about that PCIe slot, we can talk about the CPU and the memory. Now, the predecessor, the 251B, arrived with a J3355 um, Celeron CPU. It was a 2.0 gigahertz the, uh, CPU dual core that could be burst up to 2.5 and 2 gig of DDR3L memory. I'm pleased to say that things have changed in both regards because it arrives with a newer generation J4 005 CPU, which is a 2.0 gigahertz dual core processor that can be burst up to 2.7. This CPU also opens up a number of cooler options with regards to what the device can do and connected devices too, as well as support of better hardware attached to it. Also, the DDR4 instead of DDR3 change is a welcome upgrade with this device arriving by my understanding, with two gig of DDR4 that can be upgraded to eight gig. However, I would double check that just before launch because something like that could easily change. And with the announcements towards QTS Hero and the memory specifications, I believe the entry point for some of the base level features like um, compression and data auto healing, that sort of thing, they need at least four gig of memory. So this device may upgrade from two to four gig at launch, but don't hold me to that. I could see that maybe happening. Now, the price point for this, well, this is an interesting topic and definitely relevant to the time that this video is being published because uh, this device, although no price has been given, we can assume it's going to be similar to that of the 251B, which is about 240, 250 quid right now uh, without that. But 
it is coming up to Black Friday and end of year sales, uh, your Boxing Day sales and just basically Christmas promos. So I can see the 251B floating around for some very good prices. So if you're watching this video at launch, which again should be around the last week of November on the run up to Thanksgiving, well done everyone, another year, more turkey, then do look around for the TS251B on sale because it is still a really good NAS and I really enjoyed using it both in terms of Plex and running some of those HDMI setups with HD Station as well as that was the, one of the units I tested Hybrid Backup Sync 3 on. So I do recommend you check out that 251B and if you're in the market for a NAS now, this may be a good time to get on board with that one while it's on a good price. Because this one, the 251D, I can't see this arriving this year. It's getting a bit tight. I wouldn't surprise me if this is going to be like a January, maybe even February release. Which is all the more reason why this could be a good time to get a good deal in its previous unit. Because whenever any new brand releases, like um, uh, fully releases a unit, prior to that you always do find uh, the predecessor arriving at a very good price point. So do take this opportunity, if you're looking to buy a NAS now, to view this video with in two different ways. One, is this device worth waiting for? And if it's not, is this a good reason to plump for the 251B? Because it rated very well in my comparisons against the DS218 Plus from Synology and the Asus Store AS, um, the AS5302T, that Nimbus Store 2. Do check those out. But... I'm going to wrap things up here. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully the specifications and the images are here on the side of the screen throughout this video. If not, go to the NAS Compare article in the description. There is loads more information on this device in terms of hardware and software support. And that will give you a better understanding of this device if you're new to QNAP. This video is more aimed at people that are already kind of aware of their catalogue of applications. But I will see you guys next time. Click like if you've enjoyed this. Click subscribe if you want to learn more about the new generation of NASs from all the brands. And I will see you next time.